Okay, so in this video, um, I've tried the lawn store just now, and um, I tried to program it via OBD by passing the ignition switch with this smart car. This is a grey import, so it's a real hairy one. Can't read the BCM and all the rest. So what I'm going to do now is I try to program. I programmed in the remotes, no problems with the lawn store, but I couldn't find the particular setting for this particular car to program in the keys. So we've done everything else. All we need to do is now is just get these two keys working, just the transponders in the keys. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, bypass ignition. One and two. This will allow us to get communications and then we're going to program in the key using um, another tool. Hang on, down here, two hands to do this. Okay, off, one, two. Okay, I'm just gonna go over to here to uh, connect. Failed. Failed. Okay, let's check, oh, I think I know why. The immobilizer, this thing here. Stupid aftermarket thing caused a lot of problems. Okay, now we're connected. Okay, we're gonna go to workshop. Uh, all this sort of stuff. First of all, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna check and see if there's any errors popping up. Self-diagnosis. There we are there, right there, NATS malfunction. I tried programming with the other one. Now nothing's really gonna work. So let's clear that. All right, no faults found. So you can get an error like that, not even know it's there, and then um, be, you know trying to trying to do what you got to do. So I'll put in the pin code now, which uh, up. if you if you proceed, will first key all keys will be registered and sorry erased, and then you can move on. Um, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the first key, which we know doesn't work, which is this one, into the ignition. Now we can't turn it on, the car's already on. Proceed with yes. I'm gonna watch this dash. Okay, I heard the steering lock go. Turn ignition off and remove key. Turn ignition off and remove key. Insert new key and turn on for five seconds. So let's put the new key in here. Turn off, turn on. Okay, can I see any blinking uh, key light there? No, I can't. I'm gonna push OK. And did we see a blinking key light there? No, we didn't. Okay, so in theory, we should be able to turn this off now and remove the key. Now, to see if this procedure works, you can see from there, let's put this key in. Now that one was already key programmed, so that's not a good indication. This one was not, so when we try this key, this will tell us whether or not it just worked. And it worked. Now we can turn this on. So that was a lot easier than using the lawn store and using some of the other um, immobilizer tools. I'm using a program with a K line, um, and it, it seems sometimes that, um, okay. Now I'm going to try a key. Now if this transponder is not programmed, it won't turn. Okay, why aren't we starting? That's interesting. Oh, we're not starting because we've got no ignition switch on the back. <laughs> Silly me. Here I am. So this will basically turn. It'll allow the ignition to turn. Okay, now if we want to start the car, we then have to touch the silly aftermarket immobilizer. Okay, and now we can go down to here. Okay, so we're starting. Okay, so what have we learned from this? That on this particular vehicle, even if you put a key in and you try to turn on accessories, it's not gonna work. Um, you've actually got to get to the back of the switch to actually do it. 
um, and you can use this as the transponder antenna yes um, but only once the key is programmed will it actually go into the ignition and turn so if on other cars you can put the key in and you can actually turn it to accessories to get comms with this vehicle you can't so that's what makes this vehicle different and that's why i was having so much trouble with the other key programmers because i was doing things like uh, using my smart remote making it turn and then just putting my key up into the antenna like this when it went into programming mode and it wouldn't really work i mean that right there you would think oh yeah that transponder's in there or you put it in there so it's a transponder you put it in there like that and that still didn't work so interesting um, some cars they're straightforward by the book some cars are a little bit fiddly and there's funny little techniques and it looks like this is just one of them and um, I must say by using the laptop uh, it was a lot quicker process than I had using the Lons door and some of the other key machine uh, some of the other proper key programming machines so I'm just putting it out there and um, any comments leave them down below thanks for watching